I don't drive my car for the day. I just like to fire her up and listen to her roar. I can listen to the sound all day long. Seven Eleanor, his uh, tag I'll put right there with some pictures about it. The shop that did that work is a deluxe auto body here in San Diego. The work that they did on this 1967 Eleanor is absolutely immaculate. That's why I'm really excited to see what they can offer here. Uh, we definitely want quality. We also have all of the parts stacked right there. The white body fits in like a glove. Fiberglass, you gotta be careful with fiberglass. It cuts you so bad. I learned that the hard way. Definitely looking forward to see what they can say and uh, we'll just take it from there. But on our way there, let's get some supercharger wine noise here, some pulls, because I haven't really showed you guys that ever since the install. Oh no, look at all these crashed cars. Deluxe Auto Body, there it is. Let's see what they can offer me for this build. $3,000. You, you see Juan car, right? Yeah, so yeah awesome. we did the same thing, you know, mow everything yeah, on, everything cut on. the gas uh, yeah. door and everything. Oh man, that's a really big project. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know like how long it will usually take? Because I do need the car to make videos and stuff like that. Man, we need probably 10 days or 2 weeks, you know. 10, easily, 10 days yeah. to 2 weeks? Yeah. Okay, cool. This you cannot brush. You yeah, know, that's I, the I, time. I, I don't want to do it. You yeah. know, you do brushing. You know, uh -huh. Okay, this require a lot of test yeah. fitting. You know, okay. pull it on, take it off, pull it on, take it off. Uh -huh. You know, like crazy. Yeah, we yeah. done so many times before. Really? Yeah. Okay, sure thing. I'm about to show him the open headers. Look at now it's the open headers. Oh, it yeah. makes it louder. Right, right, right. Yeah, and then and then you can make it quiet with the coffee like there or something like that, yeah, yeah. and make it loud. So she, she's really, really loud. Yeah, <laughs> sound like two gallons, uh, two five a gallon. Yeah, something. exactly. But hey, American muscle. American Can't muscle. Like that. That's yeah. where it's at yeah. all the time. That's the only sound it should have. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it yeah. again. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Thank See you. It. Let's go back home and talk a little bit more about this Shobi 1000 build. 
All right, we are officially home, and now we can talk about the Shelby 1000 build, which is what I'm introducing to this channel right now. Currently, with the 5.8 liter that we have, we completely maxed it out. We're at about a little bit under a thousand crank horsepower which is the limit for this 5.8 liter but the good thing about this motor is that you can exceed the limit and it'll be okay it is a ticking time bomb i already know that but i do not abuse this car too much i have my fun with it but this motor is really really sturdy along with the trans equip so let's go over what a shelby 1000 needs to have in order for it to be called shelby from the manufacturer and again we're doing my own type of shelby 1000 the shelby 1000 r because i want to do things my own way it's my car i get to do whatever i want so we already have the exhaust cutouts we've already done the supercharger wine those are the things that are going to be a little bit separate than what shelby itself has for their shelby 1000 so you do need their upgraded supercharger uh, i am going to go ahead and upgrade mine probably kenny bell um, or whipple there's also turbocharging options as well definitely going to look at that but the kenny bell is very very tempting you do need a one-piece drive shaft i have the carbon fiber one-piece drive shaft already have that you need 1000 horsepower fuel injectors i have that already fuel system i may need to upgrade but one thing about the building the motor which we definitely need to build it soon which is definitely on the list i just want to work on exterior now just because the motor's already maxed out and I really wanna look good while doing this. So we do currently have the injectors along with the booster pump that will support the 1,000 horsepower. There are different build options for this 5.8 liter. The weak point on this motor is the block. So if I just re-sleeve the block, I should be good for 1,000 wheel horsepower. Um, that's really all you need. You can go ahead and upgrade the rods, the pistons, everything else, but that will set you up for 1,500 horsepower. I'm not entirely sure if I want 1500 horsepower as a daily driver I don't know how convenient or accessible that would be even to drive it so I'm really thinking about just re-sleeving the block throwing it back in and reaching that 1000 wheel horsepower it's just 150 again I'm really torn I don't know what to do comment down below what you want to see if I should just get the 1000 wheel and seal the deal or if I should go all out and hit that 1500 wheel by doing the full interior it's gonna be about six to ten thousand dollars just for the parts itself and i'm gonna be doing the building myself so let me know if i should hit for the 1500 horsepower or just re-sleeve the block and hit that thousand wheel so that's basically the the rerun of what this motor can handle again i'm not going into all of the specifics there probably may be some other things i need to do to reach the 1000 wheel but definitely the weak point of this motor is the block that can only withstand about a thousand crank at some points, but this motor does need a re-sleeve and we should be good for about 1,000 to 1,200 wheel horsepower. So it really depends on how much money I have, how much time I have, but if you guys wanna see a full send, comment down below that you want a full send. So it does look like we're gonna to have to upgrade our brake system to Willwood, but I really like Brembo, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. We got the belt tensioner, the pulley, that's fine. We have the three inch Borla headers. I mean, American Racing, we already have the headers, that's okay. Cooling package, we already have a upgraded twin fan and coolant. Upgraded water pump, carbon fiber overlay kit. I am going to carbon fiber this the heck out. Just stay tuned for that. Uh, carbon fiber is coming. Doesn't look like we need some high performance wheels, which I'm gonna get some custom piece once when the wide body is done. High performance tires, um, gauge pod, and moving on to the last one fiberglass hood which i want to get the super snake hood on this because i cannot find the shelby 1000 hood if you know somebody or have a shelby 1000 hood hit me up i really like the shelby 1000 but if not we're going super snake i'm not going to worry about the car cover don't have to worry about the delivery interior upgrade um carbon fiber out of my mind that's what we're gonna go and do Reflective side graphics, those are just little pointers, but essentially that's what we have to do to get the Shelby 1000. We need a new hood, we need to wide body it, carbon fiber out on the mine, and then essentially all we have to do is upgrade the blower, build the block, and we'll have a thousand wheel, but if you guys tempt me, I'll go ahead and do the 1500 wheel. Just make sure you slam that like button so that we can go and get the funds to support the project. If you want to support this build, all you have to do is slam the like button, subscribe down below, and it will happen as soon 
soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for making my dreams come true. Thank you guys for enjoying the build and what we have coming through. Again, Shelby 1000 build wide body edition is coming. We have the wide body right here. We have the shop quoted $3,000, which is not too bad. Hopefully we could work something out. We do have to take the time to do this and I do, and having a YouTube channel, I wanna to continue to bring content. So this is not gonna be coming right away. This is probably gonna be throughout a month's process, but I'll make sure I keep you guys updated throughout this full build and process and everything. But yeah, that's essentially everything we have here. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Give it a big thumbs up. And um, yeah, we're starting off big. We're going off bad and cannot wait to show you guys the full entire process. That's really all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for more. I'll catch you guys on the next one.